Hey everyone, it's the How To Mac, and on today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to generate custom HTML image maps uh, using the website imagemaps.com. The website that you're looking at right now is called channelzeronews.com. Uh, this is a site that I've been working on for the last two weeks or so, and I've been using image mapping a lot for my nav menu, so I thought I'd put a video out. So the first thing that you're going to want to make sure you do is make sure that your image that you want to create a map for is hosted in a secure place somewhere online. Uh, I, I would recommend using photobucket.com. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, just go make an account. It's free. You can host all your images there. You're going to need it for when you bring your image into imagemaps.com. So once you've got your image, you're going to want to click on rectangle and now you can position this rectangle over any part of your image that you want to create a link for. Uh, right now I'm setting up my nav menu uh, for my home page. So once you're satisfied with how your map's set up, you're going to want to click on get your code. Then you want to click on the HTML code tab. Copy this script and we're going to be creating a custom HTML widget in Blogger. So when I said it was important to have your image hosted, I was speaking to those that were trying to make an image map for a page banner, background, or menu like I'm doing. Uh, so when you get to Blogger, you're going to want to click on the Edit HTML tab under Design. Uh, here you're going to want to search through your script to find what you're looking for. In this case, I'm looking for the menu. So I'm going to search through the different menus until I find the image URL. I'm going to replace that image URL with the image URL from PhotoBucket. Then I'm going to preview my changes to make sure I didn't screw up. And then I'm going to go into the page element section, create a custom HTML script, and paste my image code from imagemaps.com. So now you can see my menu header is right where it's supposed to be. So now I'm going to go back, take the HTML from image maps, copy and paste it, and now we're going to put it in the design elements part of Blogger. So now we're going to click on page elements in the design tab. We're going to click on Add a Gadget and click on HTML JavaScript. This is where you're going to paste your image map code. I'm not going to do it for the purpose of this video tutorial because I've already done it. As you can see on the top header, my image map code is already there. Now all that's left to do is click Save and view your blog. Um, one thing that's important to note is you always want to put your full URL when you're doing image mapping, not just www. You want to have the HTTPS parts uh, there or else the link won't go fully through. Um, hope you found this helpful. This is another tutorial by the How To Mac. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below.